right, so the next movie we're going to move on to is the uh, Matt Reeves, Let Me In. It's a remake of a Swedish film. Uh, it's got a, about a little girl vampire who is moved, it moves into an apartment complex and befriends a little boy. They're both around 10 years old. And it's just a story about the, the kid's relationship. They're too innocent to really realize that, you know, that they can't be friends. And the vampire knows a little bit more that, <laughs> that she can't be, but they still try for it anyway. And there's this cute little friendship with a whole lot of grotesque and gore in the middle. <laughs> uh, she's raised by a, a the little vampire girl has a caretaker who goes out and does the, the vicious murders for her. And, mm -hmm. You know, comes back and then they get fights and it's <laughs> but yeah it's also based off a book no idea who wrote it but some Swedish person probably, probably. a Swedish person mm. maybe Stieg Larsson he writes everything <laughs> at least she's, Sweden is <laughs> taking over America by storm very much so <laughs> um, but this was yeah directed by Matt Reeves who did Under Siege 2 so we all know he can direct well <laughs> And Cloverfield. Oh, and Cloverfield, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, it stars Cody Smith as the Smith McPhee wow Smith yeah, Cody Smith yeah, as the little boy and uh, good old Chloe Moetz from Kick-Ass as mm -hmm. the little vampire girl. And yeah, I enjoyed this movie. The boy was from The Road. The Road, that's right. Yeah. I guess I, 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 well, I was going to research it. much better than this. Holy didn't. But uh, yeah, no, as a remake, I, I actually kind of liked it, but yeah, it's still a remake. Uh, I can't hold much for it. I'm only like... The Swedish did it, and they did it just fine, so what's the point of having the American version? Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of going to probably feel the same way if we ever review those Dragon Tattoo movies. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was still good. Uh, I thought Chloe did really well in it as a creepy mm -hmm. little kid, and uh, it followed the same kind of plot line as the original, so they had the mean bully kids, had a lot of the same, very similar, you know, it wasn't like a complete do-over, which might have been better than trying to stay so much with the, the <laughs> Swedish version. What did you give that? Uh, I gave it a B minus. A B Just minus. I give it a C plus. Um, and the reason I give it that is because I think it was pretty much just a do-over. Yeah. Um, I mean, literally, scene per scene, some, they're exactly the same. The blocking is the same. The dialogue is exactly the same. Um, there's a few additions by by Reeves. Well, uh, most notably, there's this police officer character. It's kind of the, a very American horror idea, actually, to have this kind of snooping police officer who's you know sticks his nose in too far and blah blah blah. Um, and that is he really his only addition. But and it it actually funnily enough, it's the one thing in the movie that doesn't completely work. It kind of <laughs> makes the story a little clunky. There's this weird prologue. That they kind of go back to, but it kind of doesn't really relate, and it, it seems like he's trying to spell things out for the American audience a little bit more. Uh, but essentially, this is just an English language version of the original, and I think the original was good enough. It did its job well enough. It's still new. I mean, that was made in 2005, 2006. Yeah. It still looks just fine. Yeah. You know, it's not dated at all. And I think there's, you know, there's some emotions and some subtlety in the original that are kind of brushed over, kind of glossed over in Reeves' American version. But I think, I give it a C plus if you've seen the original. Yeah. If you've not seen the original, if you're going in blind and you just, you know, pick it up off the DVD wall at your video store and, and you watch it, I think you're going to see a B plus. Yeah. Um, and I think it is, it's very well directed. Um, it's very well lit. Uh, the direct or uh, the uh, acting all the way around uh, by both the child leads Chloe Moretz and Cody McVie, as well as uh, the fatherish character played by Richard Jenkins. Very good acting all the way around, and actually Chloe, ev even though those kids were kind of just kind of uh, you know paint by numbers doing yeah. the performances from the original, <laughs> they still managed to show some emotion yeah. uh, that it was that was from their own perspective. So uh, I liked the movie, sort of, but I, I just didn't really see the point in remaking it. Yeah, also, also a lot of the additions were like, uh, they did a lot of the American thing where they like to do little jumping sci-fi thing. Yeah. And that, a lot of CGI. The, uh, the that CGI wasn't, was really bad yeah, in some really places. Really awful CGI it, that they just... Yeah, they it was really trying, unnecessary CGI. Yeah, that they they didn't have in the original, and yeah. it worked even better. And it was better. just as scary in the original, yeah. yeah. And, except, and then there was... Uh, 
the one death scene with the super flames was so much cooler in the original. Yeah. So much better done. I was like, I was waiting for the American like to be like ten times bigger. And yeah, yeah. Eh, it's like it's more or less the same. Just, just not as good. Yeah, yeah. yeah.